Now we're going to start with Actividad 11, Actividad 11. And again, it is on page 354. So it says here, El presente o el pasado. The present or the past. So we're not going to, uh, I'm not going to have you write it down since uh, this is a video. Um, what I will do is I will write down the sentences. First I'll say, say them orally and then you can see them written down. So let's see what it says. En una hoja de papel, on a sheet of paper, Escribe, write down, los números del uno al ocho. The num numbers from one to eight. Vas a escuchar, you're going to listen to ocho, eight sentences, frases, que describen, that describe the, los, que haceres, chores, of a family, de una familia. So you're going to listen to eight phrases that describe the chores that a family is doing. What they want you to do is say, oh, that sentence is present tense, or no, that sentence was past tense, is past tense. Ocurren los quehaceres en el presente o el pasado. So, do the chores occur in the present or the past? So, we're going to start with the first sentence. It says, so right now just listen. Listen to the sentence. Ella cocina para la familia cada día. And for those of you that were in class on the 12th, we already went through this, but it's always good to review. So now let's look at it written down. Ella cocina para la familia cada día. So what they're wanting you, they're, they're asking you is, is this sentence in presente o pasado? So just by looking at that sentence, what do you think? How do you know if it's in the present or preterite tense? Well, if you look at the back of your book, remember on page 478, if you look at the back of the book, and then you look at verbos. We see right here the infinitive forms. And so when we look at this word, cocina, it's already conjugated. And so if we look at that word before it's conjugated, it is Co C Nar. It's cocinar. So this right here is what you're gonna have to take off. And then what they how they conjugated in the sentence is cocina. Cocina. So if we look right here, we can spot it right there. If we look over here, there's not one that ends in an A. And right here, we see that after they take the AR off, let's pretend right there that that's taken off. After they take that off, right here, if they add an A, 
and that's the same thing right here. You take the AR off, and then you add an A, or you can just take the R off. Um, so is it in the present tense or is it in the past tense? Presente. So the answer for this one would be present. Let's look at the second sentence. Mis padres trabajan todos los días excepto los fines de semana. My parents work every day except the weekends. Well, of course, because I already said it in English, you know that it is in the present tense. But if you didn't know that, if you just read it in Spanish, how would you know if it's in the present tense? Well, again, that word, you have to know what is it in the infinitive? What's the infinitive? So it's tra ba which means to work. Trabajar means to work. Oops, I forgot the R. Trabajar. So, um, again, if they were to take off the AR and then they added the AN, where do you see that here? Because remember, we're looking at this section, not this section, not this, this section, because the word is trabajar. There's no word that exists that ends in T-R-A-B-A-J-E-R. That word does not exist. And there is not a word that ends in T R A J um, I R. That word does not exist. The correct word is trabajar, to work. So now that we know that it's trabajar, and that's what they're using right here the preterite of A R verbs. So they're all going to be A R verbs. So, um, so since we're looking at this section right here, is it present or past tense? Well, we see right here that this ends in an, so it's present. So, mis padres trabajan, my parents work. And again, remember that it's always in order I, Yo, you, tú, usted formal, you, uh, él, he, she, studies, we study, nosotros estudiamos, and ustedes, you all, they, ellos, ellas, plural, estudian. So right here, why is, does it end in an? My parents work. Well, they work. Who? They. Ellos. Uh, in this one, ella cocina. Well, that one's easy because it's already telling you right there, ella. And if we look right over here, let's see. It'll be a little bit easier. If we look over here, ella Oh, wait, but this is um, compre, so that's in a different, let me see, um, it'll work better on this one right here. Uh, yeah, right here. I, you, ella. So if you look right here, it's all, this part right here is always going to be the same in the charts. I, you, a, yeah. Okay, so, um, let me see right here, this one. Corté el césped después de las clases. 
So how do we know if that is present or past tense? One uh, sign is by seeing the accent mark at the end. But if we want to make sure, we again go over here. And that word, corte, uh, would be cortar. which means to cut, but in this context, to mow. So um, we would take that off, and then they have corte. Okay, so let's look over here if we can see that. Can you see it there? Oh. I spotted it right there. So that would be in the past tense. Okay, now let's um, go over the last few. Ayudaste mucho a tus padres la semana pasada. Again, we'll go over here. And are you able to spot it? Right there. So right there, it's in the tu. You, remember the second one, tú, the second one right here, tú, and this one, hazte. And so, um, and for example, right here, the reason with this one that um, ends in O is because it's masculine. Well, let me see, él compró, ella compró, ustedes yeah, this one always is going to be, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, and um, so back over here. So, yes, with um, ayudaste, it's going to be in the past tense. So then over here, number five. Mis hermana, hermanos limpiaron el baño y yo... Lave los platos. So right there, um, we have two words. Now, are they in present or past? My brothers, blank, we don't know, the bathroom, and I, blank, the dishes. Well, um, if we look at this word over here, There it is, right there. And this one is they, plural. So my brothers, they cleaned. They cleaned the bathroom. And I, well, if we just go right here, it's either I or I. And it's not this one. It doesn't end in O. It ends in E with an accent with an accent so I washed past tense I washed the plate so my brothers cleaned the bathroom and I washed the dishes my brother and I blank the car yesterday so is that present or past well remember that in the previous lesson, we said that right here it says the nosotros form is the same in the present and past tenses, preterite tenses. So over here, it says estudiamos, estudiamos. And so, um, lavamos. So how do we know? Is it present or past? Well, remember over here that it says you will need to look for other context clues to tell which tense is intended. Okay, so we're going to have to look at the sentence to see whether if they're using it in the present tense or the past tense. My brother and I, is it washed or washed the car yesterday? Well, here is the clue, yesterday. So. We washed the car yesterday. 
my brother and I. So because it says my brother and I, is, it is we. Let me see. This right here would be we. Okay, so we washed. And again, we washed. Nosotros estudiamos. Nosotros lavamos. Okay. Siempre arreglo mi cuarto en la mañana. I always blank my room in the morning. Okay. So do we see um, an O? We do. This one has an accent because it's past tense. We're looking at number seven and that one does not have an accent. So let's keep looking. No accent there or O right here. We see it. So that means that it's in the present tense. I always clean my room in the morning. Okay, the number eight. My grandmother blank the basement one month ago. Hace un mes. Well, this one does have an accent, so we know that it's in the past tense. My grandmother cleaned the basement one month ago. Okay, so we're done with activity 11, page 354.